It's rivalry week. <laughs> I'm having J Max problem with this. It's rivalry week. Here on KSL News Radio, the Cougars are in a bit of a funk when it comes to beating the Utes in football. BYU's lost six straight games, but some Utes and Cougars remember back to a time when it was the opposite, until one Utah team broke out in a big way. KSL's Cleon Wall has an in depth look. A lot can be forgotten in 29 years, unless you speak to former Utah quarterback Scott Mitchell about the 1988 rivalry game in which the Utes upset the 19th ranked Cougars 59 to 28. You have those moments in your life where you have games, you have events that you just remember. They're embedded in your mind. Up. Mitchell going up top for Harry. Harry catches the As I'm sitting here talking about it, I can conjure up memories of what actually happened. The Utes had a Ferris Bueller-like losing streak against BYU coming into the game. Nine times. Nine times. Nine times. We wanted to beat Big Brother in the worst way. Before the game, Mitchell picked up a penny at the stadium for good luck, stuck it in his sock. The Utes also received an amazing pregame speech from a Vietnam War vet, but in reality, the Utes won handily because they prepared for the game back during spring ball. BYU, because they were so good, were very predictable in how they ran their defenses. In my mind, that was the one thing that just really jumps out at me because it was so easy. Mitchell wide opens, call Harry, touchdown. We just knew that we were going to win. Mitchell threw for 384 yards and three touchdowns, and Eddie Johnson ran for 112 yards and four scores. We couldn't stop him on defense. Former Cougar wide receiver Andy Boyce would love to forget that game. Let's take that one off the record books and uh, and let's just move on. Clean slate. The Salt Lake native says he never expected to lose to Utah and heard about it from the Utes after the game. Many of them got in our faces and just were like so elated that they finally beat us. Mitchell was worn out after the beatdown and went home to take a nap. But he still revels in the victory today. And a lot of people say, I still have a piece of the goalpost. Mitchell, end zone, touchdown. That's kind of the celebration that I remember is that it's permanently etched in the memories of so many Utah fans who were long-suffering. Boyce would rather remember the contest the following year. It wasn't hard to put up 70. We probably could have put up 100 on those guys that year. Rivalries die hard. Cleon Wall, KSL News Radio. If you want to see the video of the beatdown right now, it's rolling on the KSL News Radio app brought to you by Any Hour Services. And be sure to listen to KSL Friday at noon. There's a full hour of rivalry game coverage or download the app. You won't miss a minute as KSL's voice of the Cougars. Alex Curry gets us ready for the big game. The voice of Cougar Tracks, Alex Curry, Friday at noon on KSL News Radio.